Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome to the podcast, and thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I'm I'm doing an amp video today because I, you know what, I can never get away from it. I I, I try, I want to step back, but I can never get away, uh, never get away from it. So the thing I found interesting about it lately, and I, I get it, Tyler's been going out talking, and uh, and that's wonderful, but. I, I'm looking at this from a pure price standpoint. Now, the thing that I've actually liked about it over the last, oh, hell, I don't know, 30 days, is the, the price has effectively been, well, I mean, it's down a little bit, but by percentage, it's not really down more than anything else in crypto. So I, I'm not going to say that it's found its floor, but I will say that it's uh, more uh, comfortable. If this was the time that I wanted to jump back into it, uh, I, I'm a little bit more comfortable doing it, but please let me give you some context. And for the AMP folks uh, on the channel, guys, I'm over in Korea right now, so I, I apologize for uh, for the quality, but I, I still want to try to bring you uh, good content, something interesting. So uh, this is where we're kind of landing on this. Now, where I say I find it interesting is uh, I don't know if you pay attention to anything outside of the crypto world, but the financial markets are in turmoil. Uh, I think we're looking at about a five or six hundred point uh, dip on the Dow Jones. Twenty eight is uh, twenty eight thousand is coming a hell of a lot quicker than thirty thousand. So things are rough, but it's all of these things that are combined that are making me look for flat tokens really really flat tokens amp happens to be one of those uh flat tokens like i said aside from a, a slow decline over the last 60 days uh, it, it it's more or less uh it's more or less holding now i've uh i'm sorry it's more or less holding relative to the market now i i've been trying to uh, I don't know, outreach, something like that. I've been trying to uh, talk to the AMP folks that are actually on this channel that only watch the AMP videos. Look, I respect it, man. You're, you're a maxima, uh, maximalist. This is your token. I get it. Uh, I consider it a, a not a good investment. I think it's good tech. I think it's a, a nifty idea. Uh, I think there's a lot of competition in the space. I mean, how big Canna is on WooCommerce now. So... Uh, I think it's got a lot of uh, a very long road uh, ahead of it, and a lot of it is uphill. So I was trying to think about this. How can we best maximize the purchases of AMP without really putting anything out of my pocket? So if you guys watched any of my other videos, uh, basically on anything but AMP, you'll, you'll see that I'm very, very heavily invested in, in Cosmos. And there's a reason for it. Now, the reason that I'm so heavily invested in Cosmos is because I earned such good APRs uh, on it. Now, the one that I've been looking at in particular, because I wanted to put something together just for the AMP people, just to say, all right, this is the direction that I would go if I was going this direction. And I started going this direction. So um, lately, all of my APR money has been going into Adam. I I'm sorry, not Adam, uh, Rap Bitcoin. Of all things, Rap Bitcoin. I feel about Bitcoin the way I, I, I feel about AMP. It's uh, great if people want it, but if they don't want it, it, it just absolutely does nothing because it's not generating uh, a, a secondary source of income. Bitcoin rises and falls based on how many people buy it and sell it. That's it. AMP kind of does the same thing. Now, it's working towards generating a secondary income. That is its whole purpose is to be used, to become collateral to take the processing fees, buy more AMP, drop it into the staking pools, that's what it's for. And if it ever hits that good point where it's pulling in more than uh, that more is being bought than sold, then AMP's gonna go up organically all by itself. So here's what I've been doing, and I'm gonna do this myself because I think it's very disingenuous for someone to talk about a, a crypto token and not actually purchase it. So. I can't show you here, guys, because this is not my home system. Uh, I, I can't flip screens. I'm doing this on, on just a single laptop, so I can't flip screens or any of that stuff. So uh, I, I hate to say take my word for it, but, you know, when we get home, I'll be able to show you. So I'm going to be taking part of my APR only from a single pool, and that is Wrap Bitcoin and Osmo. Uh, the reason that I'm in that pool is because Osmo 
more or less runs with Adam. Adam more or less runs with Bitcoin. And we all are familiar with Bitcoin. Now, I, I'm earning about 62, 63% APR on that pool. That is, uh, that's wrapped Bitcoin paired with osmosis. And I'm earning about 63%. Now, the neat thing about being in that pool is that all the rewards are paid out in Osmo. They're paid out in Osmosis directly on the Osmosis DEX. Now, it's incredibly easy to swap that Osmosis for Atom, send the Atom back to a central exchange. In this case, I use Coinbase. And I can either uh, sell it, just sell it directly. It's a higher fee, so I don't recommend you do that. Or uh, liquidate it on the, uh, on the active trader and take that money and just buy AMP with it. Now, the nifty thing about that is that I'm paying nothing for the AMP. It costs me zero money out of my own pocket. And it is, if, if I do this over a period of time, it is a daily DCA that doesn't cost me anything. That means it is absolutely pure, uh, I don't wanna say profit because there's still a lot of volatility here, but it, is, uh, it doesn't cost me anything. So regardless of the state of AMP, regardless of the price of AMP, it doesn't matter to me because it doesn't cost me anything. Now, the one downside to that, the old, for me personally, is that this is money that I cannot APY into the wrap Bitcoin Osmo pool. So there's a difference between APRs and APYs. So normally I would just roll it right back into the pool. I would turn that APR into an APY. I earn a little bit more the next day and we, you know, the uh, show goes on. But with the, uh, with the amount of craziness that's going on in, uh, in crypto right now, and even though I, I consider AMP good tech, but I consider it very, very long tech, uh, it, it, it is not, it wouldn't really crush me to, to DCA into it like that. So again, I can't show you how to do this, but because of my the screen, but I've, I've done it on other videos. So if you wanna see it, look through some of my other videos and I give you step-by-step, frame-by-frame, this is precisely how to do it. Uh, but that's that's the direction I think I might, I might go on this one. Uh, again, only, 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 because it costs me nothing. It costs me absolutely nothing out of my pocket. And I, I would invite the, uh, the AMP folks uh, even the maximalists, to just give it a try. Start it with $100. Start it with a, a, whatever amount of money that you're comfortable with. But start it with a, a small amount of money and just take it in. Run an experiment. This is the time to, to do something like this because, again, the market is volatile. doesn't really matter what you're in. We're getting hurt everywhere. So... With that being the case, it, it just, to me, it seems like it, it, it makes more sense to put your money to work a little bit more aggressively in a bear market. I am a huge fan of having more tokens tomorrow than I did today. So give it a go. Now, app.osmosis.zone. This is not financial advice. Don't think of it like that because it, it's certainly not. But it is me telling you what I am doing. And I think that seems to be, uh, I, I think I like to think that's what separates this, ch this channel from other channels. But give it a go, guys. 10 bucks, whatever. Pick a number that you're comfortable with and try it out. App.osmosis.zone. And if you don't know how to get your uh, money, you're going to be using Adam from Adam from Coinbase over to Osmosis. And if you don't know how, I have step-by-step -step videos on this channel showing you specifically what to do and how to do it. If AMP's going to go, man, it ain't going tomorrow. That, that's all I have to say about that one is that it's not going tomorrow. And the more that you can acquire, if this is your, your wheelhouse, but the more you can acquire that doesn't cost you anything out of your pocket, it's much better for you uh, in the long run. Because you're getting your DCA, you're getting it every day, but it's not money that's coming out of your pocket. I can't stress this enough. So I, I was trying to find something positive. I know you guys hit the hell out of me on, on, the, on the comments, and I'm sure I'm going to get some positive ones on this. But uh, I was trying to think of a good positive way to apply uh, everything that's going on and to try to make it a little bit more profitable, regardless of the token that you're in. And in this case, uh, that's the way... Uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. We'll rack it up a little bit. We'll see what we get with it. And we'll, we'll do the math. And 
there you go. So I'm going to be doing this for the next month or so. As long as I'm in Korea, I will keep buying it. And we'll see where we end up at the end of it. Anyway, guys, I, again, apologize for the quality. Apologize for the audio. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can to try to keep uh, kicking videos out. Uh, that's all I got. Questions, comments, concerns, Scott at the podcast.com. And I, I do answer all of my emails. Please keep in mind, I'm like 14 hours ahead of you. So uh, it it's, might be a little bit timely when I get it back. Anyway, that's what I got, guys. Until next time, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. Cheers.